Welcome to this tutorial on how to make your very own Minecraft mod using mCreator in 2023. If you're a Minecraft player, you've probably seen countless amazing mods that add new items, creatures, and even mechanics to the already incredible game. But have you ever wondered how these mods are made? Well, with mCreator, you can easily create your own custom mods without any coding knowledge at all. In this video, I'll walk you through the process step by step so you can start creating your own unique Minecraft experience today. So let's get started and subscribe. So for starters, head on to the mCreator website by either going to the link in my description or just searching it up on your browser. I've already actually made this video last year, so nine months ago, so I'm going to be remaking it. So, as you can see on the top, there's a, this little button that says Download M Creator. You're just going to click this button right here. So here I'll show you the newest version of M Creator. For me, it's M Creator 2022.3. So right beside that, you'll see a download button. Smack that button so we can uh, uh, install it. And here, click EXE Installer. 64 bits click on that just like so and boom it should already be installing on the left bottom of your uh, computer screen and when it's doing that just click on that it should open this page right here welcome to m creator 2022.3 setup uh, just click next and then here is where it'll be uh, stored so just click next on that Make sure you agree to everything that it says. Um, M Creator is 100% safe and is not a virus or malware in any sort of way. So I'm just gonna wait for this to download. And now finally just click finish and it should start opening M Creator as you can see here. So over here, uh, like you can see, there's a button called new workspace. So just click on that and you see what it says uh, Minecraft Forge mod. Uh, you're just gonna click down here where it says Minecraft add on. Uh, so yeah, you can name it anything you want right here where it says uh, to name it uh, Just tutorial. I'm gonna name it tutorial and here's the, what version it is um, So we don't have to touch it uh, touch anything of that So when it starts it will basically just open this page uh, Don't worry about this page. You could just close it uh, like that like that so while this loads guys i just want to say uh if you guys could just subscribe and like the video and you know join my discord server and i also have a website that is on the screen right now that would help a lot so yeah and boom okay so first thing you need to know um here this is the screen so up here there's a little plus uh where there's all this stuff you can uh we could make for the mod and yeah so let's just click on this green plus on the left top and let's start off by making an item yeah okay so click on the item thing and let me think of something how about a tomato tomato yeah okay so i'm gonna write a tomato and then i'm gonna click this button right here and like you can see uh there's no texture so let's just click right here and then you can either create a texture or, or import a texture so i'm gonna import a texture so i just i just found this tomato online so um i can just uh you know click on select so basically or just double click this so boom i'll have um the tomato i'll show you guys how to make one in a second unless you want to just import one uh but here i'll click on properties and then here you can change the name obviously i'm just going to keep it tomato uh down here you can change this the uh, like the stack size which uh isn't that important but i'll just keep it at 64 right here is like stuff a damage uh it doesn't do damage uh like other stuff uh but it's a food so uh right here i'm not gonna touch it because it's not a food but here's the food properties so this is item food yes how much uh what is the nutritional value i'll set it to that and what is the saturation i'll set it like that now is this food meat it is not meat and is it always edible it's always edible so and there's nothing else here there's yeah advanced properties and triggers which is not not uh supported and there we go here's our tomato okay what else can we make for our mod how about a block so uh let me think of something to name it haha -ha, how about subscribe or okay so let's just click on that button and you see the same thing there's no texture this time i'm actually going to be creating a texture you can uh change if it's transparent or not you can see uh, what the size is but i'll just keep it like this and like like you can see there's like you can start painting whatever you want
Okay, so once you have completed your texture, you're just gonna click on this green button that says save this texture. And here you can just name it. I'm just gonna name it like sub. Um, and just keep this as block and create texture. Now you can X out of this tab. And now you can click on each little square and double click or just press select. I'll just double click and place um, the texture on each side of the block. Now the bounding box page doesn't have anything, so let's just go to properties. Um, here's the name, we'll keep it the same. We have the uh, resistance and other stuff like that. So you can just set it to whatever you want. I'm just gonna put like random numbers here because I don't, I don't think it matters right now, but if you want things to be like harder or more resistant, then you can change these settings however much you want. Uh, I'm just gonna make it like, I'm gonna change the luminance. Uh, over here, you can set the material. I'm just gonna set it to like stone. Uh, okay, that's good. And, uh, oh, glass, glass is good. But up here, uh, like you can see, it's a custom drop. You can uh, click on the button and let's make it drop our tomato. And let's make it drop like, I don't know, like five tomatoes. Maybe we'll add some more later. Um, but next page, uh, you can change how it looks on the map. So I'll just change it to some random block. Uh, I don't know. Uh, this this is good. Uh, you can switch the settings to however much you want. Uh, now here's here's where it actually gets good. So the this is like the generation where you want it to spawn. So what blocks do you want it to replace? Uh, let's say I wanted to replace uh I don't know wood. What type of wood? All wood. Okay, all wood. Yeah. Um, so I just click uh use this. Um. And boom, I'll just, uh, oh yeah, right here is where, uh, what dimension, I'll just make it spawn on the surface, aka the overworld, uh, right here are, like, the minimal and maximum, group, uh, like, th uh, blocks per, per group and stuff like that, you can play around with that however much you want, and here's, like, the minimal and, and max height generation, so where it will spawn, once you're done, a right, uh, green button on the right top, and boom, we've finished our block. Now, let's go on to make a recipe. How do you make our block? Um, so let's just make this the subscribe or recipe. Okay, okay, now click, uh, create new recipe, and boom, we're here. Um, so there are different types of recipes you can make. You can make, like, smelting, uh, brewing, uh, or just stuff like that, but let's just make it a normal crafting recipe. So when you click on this, you can choose the item, and then just keep selecting the item where you want it to place on the crafting table. Um, so I'll just like uh, fill this thing in. And now I'll just click on the result and make it into our subscribe or block. And I'll just change it to uh, like five. So you can basically just change it to whatever you want. And yeah, you can change some settings. You can change everything in this in my opinion. Now something everyone has been asking me to do in my last video was how to make an entity. So I'll just show you how to make an entity right now. So it's a little more complicated. Click here and then click on living entity. Uh, let's name it, mm, I'm gonna name it mushroom. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna write mushroom. So let's create this and we can change the name here. Now something, something to keep in mind is basically you have to choose a model that you want to put a, your texture on. So I'm just gonna choose creeper right here, but you need a texture. So I, ha I have a whole video on how to make textures, uh, how to make like like your own Minecraft mob in Minecraft. I'll just leave that video right at the right top. So uh, let me just grab my texture. Okay, so once you have your texture, um, all you gotta do is basically click right here and it should be right here. So just uh, select your, your um, texture and okay we can move on so here's the bounding box so how big its hitbox will be uh, i can just change it to whatever uh this is what color the egg will be it, remember it doesn't always work i'll just keep this version white and this version red so it looks like a mushroom just like just like a mushroom you know a minecraft mushroom at least uh next page we can just change it to a mob so it like attacks so it's aggressive and attacks players um, now what it drops, of course, we gotta make it drop the tomato, cause that, that's kind of like a recurring theme in this. Um, so the movement speed, I'll make it pretty fast, it's pretty fast, I mean mushrooms are pretty fast, right? Um, this is like the attack damage, I mean the health and the experience, uh, you can change that to whatever you want. And we have other things like the attack, and how much, uh, and how fast it is, and just stuff like that. 
So over here is basically uh, what it's immune to and like checking if it's a water entity or if it's a flying entity, if it's immune to fire or fall damage. I think I'll make it fire. Uh, no, I'll remove it. Uh, and let's, uh, I think we should go to the next page now. Okay, this is not supported. This is not supported. Okay, so this is kind of cool. You can literally like code your, your entity to do whatever you want. If you have experience in that, I'm not gonna be diving too deep into it, but it's like, it's like block coding. It's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so let's go back to here. Okay, so this is basically how it where, where and how it spawns You can change like its spawn weight, which is basically how how will that impact the world? Uh, this is a monster. So I'll keep it as a monster So we'll spawn in the nighttime and stuff This how many we'll have in a group like the minimal and max amount of things we'll have in group and we can save it So how do we actually play this mod? So, like you can see, we have all of our items here. This will all be transferred into Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Like you can see, on the right top, there'll be like a green little button that says Run Client. Uh, smack that button, and there will appear, like this thing will appear. Don't worry about it, just click OK. Um, and it should start opening Minecraft just right after that. So, yeah. So when Minecraft opens, go to the world creating screen and just, uh, let me just, uh, you can just start like changing the world name. I'm going to set myself, uh, myself to creative. Uh, my game mode will be creative so we can properly test this here in advanced settings. All, uh, I won't touch anything here. I'm not going to make it multiplayer. So no one joins. I'll enable cheats, uh, and I'll make it, I'll make it keep inventory. So right here down in experiments, I want, uh, what, what you need to do is basically you need to act, uh, activate the experiments so you can have everything that you had in the mod uh check the behavior packs so once you have clicked on behavior packs just scroll down and find your mod so here mine's called tutorial it will say the, the name and then just click activate and uh you can go here to resource packs and like you can see it's also there so now all we got to do basically is click create Okay, uh, we're in the world. Uh, so yeah, uh, first thing we're gonna do is we're going to be uh, checking our inventory to see if everything worked. So I'm gonna go in the little magnifying glass part. Um, yeah, it's nowhere to be seen. Magnifying glass, and I'm gonna search up tomato. And oh, guys, there it is. Our tomato is inside the game. Uh, but now let's uh grab an item frame so I can show you guys here. Look at how cool the tomato is, and let's let's eat it. Oh, we can eat it. We can eat the tomato. We've officially coded a tomato into Minecraft. Well, not really coded. Uh, so as you can see, the block is nowhere to be found. But that's because blocks, for some reason, you can't get them in the creative inventory. You have to use commands. So open up your chat and write slash give. Um, at, okay, just your name. Uh, and then write uh, the name of your mod. In this case, the name of my mod being tutorial. So I'm going to write tutorial. And then, like you can see, we have all the stuff that I made in the mod. And I'm just going to write sub underscore or, because that's the name I put. And boom, there's our block. And we've officially uh, made ourselves a Minecraft mod with mCreator. Now, we still have to test out the, the mushroom guy. But firstly, uh, let's see uh, if it actually drops the tomato when I break it in survival. And whoop. Oh, that's a lot. Okay, so... So it works. Um, when you break it in survival, it drops tomatoes just like normal. So I'm gonna set myself back into creative mode so I can show you guys the mushroom guy. So he should be in the spawn egg section right over here. Uh, so he's the green egg. For some reason, the egg didn't work, but it's fine. Uh, so when I spawn him, he burns in daylight since he's not immune to fire. But there we go. There's our mushroom guy. Um, the textures I made in block bench, and I have also have a video on that, like I mentioned. And when you kill him, boom, tomato very nice very cool okay i hope you all enjoyed this video it took kind of a while to make but thank you all for watching this video i hope you learned something new today and now you know how to make your very own minecraft bedrock edition mod leave a like leave a comment uh like the video join my discord server check out my website do whatever you want thank you for watching